Hey, it's me, one that is making an origami hydralisk from StarCraft. Get yourself a square sheet of paper, any color it will do, and start off with the crane base. If you don't know what the crane base is, take the corners, put it together, uh, line them up corner to corner, diagonally. Do that again. Corner to corner, this. And then take this part, open it up, put your thumb in there, and pull the tip from here down to this tip down here. Then you make this square. Make sure all the creases are lined up and straight. Turn it over, do the same thing. Put your thumb in there. You might want to crease it the other way so it doesn't bend back. Yeah, and then put it down. Line it up with the other crease. Make sure everything is creased together. Then you make a crease by taking this. Oops, maybe you can't see that properly. Let me adjust the... There you go, that's better. Take this side into the middle line. And so, and then here, bend this top part, just crease it, open it back up again. Take this, and at this crease, you bend it there. While you're doing that, these side creases will cave in the paper. Oops. And form a diamond shape. This is how you make the crane base. Oopsie. Now, I don't know, well, I didn't uh, remember the origami folding terms, but I'll describe how I'm doing things as we go long, long. Shouldn't take that long. Then you open it up, like this, then you see, you can push this in, and this line will cave in to fold in half. So don't fold in half all the way, you want to make a crease, it in, like this, and make sure the diamond is made. that's flat, you can go ahead, open it up a bit, and line these up. So, these will push forward, and you have this kind of shape. Yeah, okay. You take this part, the one that has the flat uh, crease there, Hold it 90 degrees, 
pull this down 90 degrees. I'll crease right in this little vortex right there. Now, take this, hold it straight. We're making the hydrolisks arms. And this would be its head. Here, this will be the tail. Fold it to about a 90 degree angle. Or whatever angle you want, as long as at the end you'll make the hydrolisk stand. Bend this part to make the head in half. Um, a mountain fold, valley fold. I forget, but fold it in, fold uh, the point back out to make its jaw, and make it a little hooked, so it has like a jaw shape, fold these in so it could hold that shape, and you have a hydrolisk head. For the arms, you want to bend them out. This. And again, fold them down. And if you want them to be a little bit uh, more sturdy instead of flopping out, you can do a uh, inverted fold by putting it on both sides. See that again? There you go. And there you have it, a hydrolisk. Pretty good, it stands. Oops. Stands okay. It's much simpler to make because you only have four appendages its head, its uh, claws, and its tail. Simple. And. I hope you find this video very informative. I am one that is. Yeah.